Hi guys, my name is Aaron and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tokyo Marie Sot mod. Um, right before I even get into the review, I want to say that this gun definitely needs some work before you can actually use it properly. Um, if you are going to sp spend the money on this, you need to have some extra money there to sort out the problems which I'll be getting into later on in the video. So first of all, let's start with what you actually get in the box. You don't get the Torch or the EOTech 552 clone. Um, this is just what I put on there, this is what I use it. All you get is literally the gun, and that's it. So what you need to do is you need to buy the 84 volt, um, 1300 milliamp battery. Um, you can see that the really good thing about this is it has a quick change battery system. Um, right off the bat, the battery is a shit, okay? Um, when I first got this and I went out to a game, um, it, I, it was quite cold, yeah it was, but um, it definitely didn't last very long. So what I recommend you do, is you get these 9.6 volt 1600 milliamp upgraded batteries. All they do is they take it apart and they put new cells in them. And this gives a much higher um, rate of fire and trigger response and it also keeps the charge very well. So um, that's really all you get. You also get a, um, a mid cap. This is a 84 slash um, 30 round magazine. All you have to do is you have to take the, the shell off um, by the screw here and you um, literally just flick a switch or you can go from 84 to 30 so you can have a, a mid cap or a uh, real cap depending on what kind of um, uh, player you are. So here's a gun. Um, first of all when you first get it you, you kind of feel the quality. It's definitely got some good weight to it. Um, everything is fairly solid for the first like, I don't know, like 30 seconds you get it. Okay so the problems of this gun, I'm going to go straight into there. Rail system is wobbly. Um, Front sight is wobbly, barrel system can be wobbly, Bar batteries are crap, um, and so that's really the main problem. So what I recommend you do is, in order to, because of the recoil on this gun, um, the rail system can get loose over time as well as the front sight and the barrel sometimes, get this Lalax barrel wrench, okay? It has two different areas, the front and the back. Um, the, this smaller one is for the rail system, you take the front rail system off, take the, uh, the delta ring off, and there are two there are sort of holes in them, you, you grab it on and you tighten it down really hard, make sure it's hard. Uh, same with the back, um, you can see there are two there are sort of holes in this this ring area. Get the bigger end, literally put it on and um, move it like that. So there, that's the main problem, so I'm going to show you the quick change battery system quickly. Um, the, the back plate comes off um, and you can see that there is a contact area here, the red tape is just electrical tape to keep it from wobbling because that's another problem that I had. So um, I'm going to give you a different uh, a comparison with the, this is the standard one, 40 quid you have to get this for, it's just a rip off but oh well, you know, I'm sure that they'll improve in the future. So that goes in, make sure it's nice and tight in there. Um, plate goes on like this, front first, and then you're in. So. Blowback, you, every, every time you fire the bolt cycles back and forth, this is semi on an 8.4 volt battery. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, every time you run out of ammo, the, the uh, bolt catch locks back, you have to put a new mag in and you press it. So I'll have to hold it down for this demonstration because I'm not uh, going to be using it. So here's semi, and here's fully auto. So you can see it's fairly slow. Um, and the trigger response is, is actually quite good, I mean, it's nowhere near the, um, the trigger response of a PTW or a CTW, but it's definitely um, out there. The trigger, the trigger pull is actually really light compared to some other guns, like GMP, I know they are quite a, a stiff trigger. So, here's the 9.6 volt upgraded cells, um, here's semi, so you know it's really good, here's fully auto. So yeah, um, the, the way the recoil works is that there is a weight in the sort of the stock tube um, right at the back, and it transfers the um, the recoil to your shoulder. So it actually feels a lot better when it's in your shoulder. So what I really like about this is that it's really customizable. Um, this is bay. This is a um, M4 A1 with the uh, rail system, the KAC rail system. Um, it's a replica, obviously, but it's based on the some mod program of weapons. This is the sort of the older version. The newer versions they have the, um, the Daniel Defense rail system, as well as this Elkan Spectre side DR. They are really nice sights. 
So, um, what I like about this is it's got really nice trademarks everywhere. They actually thought about doing this. So you can see there's the rails are numbered, as well as the trademarks um, on the right side. If you just have a look at there. They also the um, you have to get a uh, rear sling plate if you want to get the the uh, sling to work because only there's only a there are actually no sling points on this, which is kind of a fail. I mean, this here's the uh, the other trademarks main trademark over here. Really nice. It's not it's not true trademarks, but they are really close. So so far, um, it's actually been pretty good for me. And um, the range and accuracy are great. Um, there's been many people who say that this is um, out there with the PCWs, and well, I mean, it's a lot more fun to shoot. You have the recoil, which, granted, it's not as much as a real gun or even a gas blowback, but it's sort of in the middle of a normal AG and a gas blowback. So, and also, you don't have the problem of the gas in the winter. So if you do spend the time to get the wrench and the um, upgraded um, battery, then it's definitely a really nice gun. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Um, you can get different outer barrels, you can get all sorts of different things for it. Um, I currently use a Element uh, M951 flashlight on the right hand side. Um, that's for CQB because I do play a lot of CQB as well. I'm going to the AI500 sort of Milsim, I guess you could call it, um, in the August, August, and so I'm going to be doing a lot of room clearing with my friend, Lewis. If you're watching this video, then, you know, we're going to own. But, um, no, I'm joking. But, um, so yeah, EOTech as well. Um, I used to use an ACOG, but then I realised I'm short-sighted and I can actually see now to have per prescription inserts in my, in my glasses now. So, safety glasses, of course, not real glasses. So, um, really nice, good acquisition. Um, I found it quite hard to um, fire with an ACOG under fire, especially if you're, like, you're, you're in prone and you've got to just sort of get out of there and shoot quick. You can't, you've got to really aim it, really, really get that crosshair on them. Um, so the EOTech, you can literally point shoot, point shoot and just run, you know, do that. So one thing I want to mention about the mags, the Tokyo Marie mags, which are the, the uh, official ones, they are 20 quid each. Um, but you can get battle axe ones, these are from China, you can get these from EBSoft or our skilled local retailer to order them in for you. Um, these are exactly the same, they are slightly smaller, but, and they do the same job, they have the 84 slash 30 rounds so you can still uh, change them around. And they fit in the slot mod just fine. And they, the, the bolt lock works, you can see it doesn't fire and then you push it and it will fire, you know. Really nice, you can still get them in and out. Um, some of them were a bit um, tight in the mag well when I first got it, but you know, over time it will loosen up. So, what do I think of this? I think it's a great gun. I mean, it's a definitely a step up over any sort of other gun. As soon as you grab it in your hands and you fire that, you fire it first time, you, you just get that feeling of like joy inside you because you're so happy that it's like you actually feel the recoil and you're like, oh my god. I mean, I definitely recommend you fire one first before you buy it. I was lucky that. Um, the person I got it from, the retailer, he um, he happened to have a personal one, so I was allowed to shoot it in the shop quickly. And you know, I was I was hooked on it. It's just so much more fun to shoot than a regular AG, especially when you hear it when um, I went to a skirmish like a couple of weeks ago, well, a couple of months ago actually. And the three of us who, who happened to have so, um, these type of guns, so there's lots of different options. Um, and it was so funny. We was like, there was it was the noise is amazing. It's just, just listen to this. Okay, sorry, just got to hold down the bolt. It's loud, I mean, you get noticed, but that's a good thing and a bad thing, you know. Because of the vibrations of the recoil, it does mean that you have to tighten up all these spots. Um, but overall, I mean, um, Eagle 6, they are the guys to go to if you need repairs in your guns. Sort mods or any other guns, they are they are sort of the, the leading sort of more repairists, I guess you could say. So, what do I think of it? Yeah, it's a great gun, I, I love it. Um, I'm not sure... Um, what other people will think. There's lots of options for these. You can get the standard one. You can get the um, you can get this is the sort mod. You can get the M4A1, which is literally just the standard handguards, and they they take normal batteries, which might be a better option, but it means that you can't really. The the good thing about it is the is a quick battery change. I mean, you don't have to fit around wires. You just put it in and go. So, you know, I I think that compared to a PTW, it's probably more fun to shoot. If it's better, who knows? I've never actually fired a PTW, but the trigger response is great on the 9.6 volt, especially. I mean, that's not even locking up or anything. I mean, if you did that on a regular AEG, it probably would lock up. So, 
Thanks for watching this review of the Tokyo Marie Sub Mod. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, great gun. I'm going to be doing lots more videos. The accuracy test and range test will be out very shortly. I'm going to be filming it right after this. So, thanks for watching. Here is the Sub Mod once again. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.